get rid of all the water and the hippo's ears are my favorite thing when they go under basically what happens is that ear twists in a motion and that twisting motion seals the ear off and then it goes underwater and because of the shape of the ear it does get a little bit of water collecting and so when they come up they have to flick their ears to get rid of that extra water so it doesn't seep in and cause a whole bunch of blocked ears to form and very very clever hello are you a bit unsure about us So, Justin, you say more dangerous than a shark. Well, yes, there are very, 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 very dangerous animals. Hippos are often underrated and often taken for granted when it comes to people being around them. You'll find people will go and swim next to them and go and kayak next to them and fish next to them. And that's why hippos often cause a lot of problems. And it's interesting to kind of note this, the difference between the hippos and other animals. Everybody always thinks that hippos kill more animals or more people than anything else. And yes, that is true. But the statistic is quite skewed because if we actually think about it, the exposure to hippos is far more than what we know. Um, so, well, far more than other animals, should I say, not what we know. What I was thinking about is crocodiles. I was going to get to that just now. But when you think about elephant and buffalo and lion and leopard, most of those animals are restricted to game reserves within this, this, the African continent, whereas hippos are throughout Africa and most of Africa's major rivers. And so the, the exposure to people is tenfold that of something like an elephant. And so if you had the same exposure th with elephants, buffalo, um, lions, you might find that one of those would actually kill more people than the hippos themselves. The other side of it is, is that you wouldn't find anybody going on a skateboard into a pride of lions or into a herd of elephants, but you'll find somebody will take a tiny little canoe and go over a pod of hippos and then wonder why there's been an aggressive interaction from those hippos themselves. So that's the kind of reason why their numbers are so much higher than what um, other animals are. But they actually, once a hippo is in water, if you just give them the space, then they generally are not too bad. And we can see there's a little oxpecker that's joined our hippo, giving him a little clean on the Sunday morning. 